Not all hub motors are created equal. Most of the time they're a little bit out of balance. As if I zoom you in on this one, spin her up, you'll see what I mean. worse in person than it is on camera. Now of course we can't put these on any traditional wheel balancing machine due to the shaft in the end. So we've got to come up with a way of doing this. I've got my way of doing this so I wouldn't suggest you do it this way but this is how I do it. Firstly we've got to check for a run out. What's run out? Well here's the centre of your wheel. Sometimes your wheel could either be too far that way or too far that way depending on how it was machined. The easiest way to check that is we need to put a point right here. I'm using I'm using this sword here clamped to a sawhorse. So using this point here we're going to spin the wheel and we're going to see if there's any deviation in the lip here. Well that doesn't look too bad. If the run out was out you'd see the rim wandering. So the rim doesn't seem to have much run out. Let's see if the wheel has any run out. Right on the edge of the tire there. There appears to be a tiny bit of run out there. Right there, the tyre's quite far in. Right here, it's very close. So, so the tyre is more that way, off centre. So there's too much weight on the other side, throwing the balance out. So we are going to choose this area to start our balance. Now we've chosen that spot, because that's where our rough run out was. So we're going to start there at least. What we're going to use here is, is 100 grams of lead weight. I pulled this off a truck rim just out the front of the factory here. I don't think you'll miss it. Anyway, so I'm going to tape that lead. Roughly on the spot there. Now like I said, this is how I do it. And a disclaimer, don't do a lot of this. It could be dangerous. That thing's a 100 gram lead projectile, in the, if, if done wrong. But it's worked for me. So, I'm going to put that weight there and we're going to spin it up and see if the vibration improves at all. I'm going to stand well away from that while I do this. Observe there, so I can get a lot more uh, a lot more RPM out of it before the vibration starts. This would help if you had a working speedo. That way, you can document the RPM or the speed you're doing. But my speedo doesn't work. It's still vibrated a little bit later on <clears throat> at a little bit higher RPM. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this weight around a little bit. So I've moved it off our mark about a good two inches this way. And what we simply do is get out of the way and spin it up again. Okay, the vibration was a little bit worse than what it was when it was here. So it's gone away from where it should be balanced. So I'm going to put a mark there. I'm going to put an arrow there. So what do we do now? We put the weight on the other side. that the vibration was a lot better here than it was in the original spot there. So we're going to call that neutral. And this one, we're going to put an arrow, so now the middle spot is there. 
Let's see if we can improve it more. By moving it a little further along. Oh, this is so sketchy. So we'll move this along a little bit more to there. And then now we'll... Oh, that coffee's kicking in. So we'll see how that goes. It started vibrating. It started vibrating very quickly. So it's in there. So the perfect, the balance point we're looking for was between there and there. So. Now we move it over a tiny bit. This tape's not a good idea. There must be a better, safer way than doing this. But until then, we're doing this. So now we've moved it over, touch more in between there and there, and we'll spin that up. vibrating a little bit more so I think I'm going to mark that and arrow that way I believe that spots it I reckon it is but let's go on the other side of it a little bit so after a lot of trial and error this is our happy spot. There's still a tiny little bit of vibration though. So now we've found which way around the rim the weight needs to go. We need to trial and error more weight or less weight. So I've replaced the 100 gram weight with a 50 gram weight. See if that improves or gets worse. straight away it's worse so we found our spot on the rim <clears throat> we know that 50 gram weight is too light the 100 gram weight was better fine tune it by putting the 50 gram and the 100 gram weight on sketchy so now we've got 150 grams on our point of interest Let's see what that does. Well, I can now get it up to 4 RPM. There's still a tiny wee bit of a shutter there around. Quarter throttle, not much. But um, when you're sitting on the bike riding, you wouldn't feel it at all. So now we know this is where we need to put the wheel weights and we need roughly 150 gram weight these weights are pretty worn so I'll have to go back to the truck and get some newer ones so there you go that's it oh jeez I shouldn't have had that coffee <laughs>